Hi guys, this is Megan from the blog wilsonhomestead.com and today I want to have just a little chat with you guys about periods. This is just kind of a casual chat. I have both my kids here so it might be a little noisy. <laughs> there might be some chatter in the background but I hope this is just a blessing to you guys and helpful and just helping feel positive about your periods and so let's get right into this. So if you guys have been around for very long, you'll know that I just had a baby about four and a half months ago, and then I have another daughter who is about 20 months old. So I've had two kids, kind of back to back. I have been learning a lot about my periods through this whole journey of motherhood and pregnancy. I have just come to a whole new way of looking at my periods. So I just got my first period back from ha after having my baby at four and a half months. And with my daughter, I got it back at two months, which is kind of weird because she wasn't a very good sleeper, so I was nursing her a lot throughout the night, and that's, they say, a way you can keep from getting your period back, but I got it back really early, and then he sleeps through the night. He slept through the night since he was like a month or two old, so I'm not really sure what's going on there, but <laughs> I used to be really negative about my periods. Back when I was a teenager, I had super, super irregular periods. My thyroid was really high. I have Graves' disease. And so I would have the most wacky periods ever. I could have periods that lasted like two months long and then I wouldn't have another one for like six months and then I would get it back and it would be like a day or two long and then I would get one again in a week and it was just like, it was ridiculous. There was no rhyme or reason to them. It was extremely unhealthy. And all that was caused by my thyroid, which is pretty insane how much your thyroid can affect your body. So since then I've been able to heal, I've been able to heal my diet. <laughs> I've been able to heal, heal my thyroid with diet and herbs. I have gone off of gluten and I use several different herbs to help regulate my thyroid. And since then, my periods have gotten super regular. They are the average 28 days long and the periods last around five to seven days. So that's very typical and it's just really nice to have some regularity to them. They've been like that for a while now, which also makes it nice because we do the timing method of preventing pregnancies. So it's nice to have some regularity to my periods so that I know when I'm ovulating. But since having babies and going through pregnancies and just learning so much more about my body and how everything just works together, I've really come to see my period in a positive light. And you don't need to be a doctor to learn about your body and just take control of your health. And I feel like we need to be our own health advocates and just be in charge and knowledgeable about what is going on with their bodies and how everything works. Hi. Hi. I feel so grounded and reflective and human when I'm menstruating and I feel very connected to my femininity. Recently I listened to a really cool podcast about how a woman's period is another vital sign and how if your periods are irregular it's kind of your body's way of asking for help and telling you something is wrong and if you have regular periods and everything's looking healthy then that's just another sign that your body is doing really well so i'm going to find that podcast again and link it because it was just really interesting and it brought kind of this whole new light to viewing menstrual cycles and how they're just really healthy and good i mean some people hate their periods so much that they use medical contraceptives to stop their periods from happening and they kind of trick their body into thinking they're not a woman or something but that can cause so many horrible side effects down the road with getting pregnant and getting your hormones re-regulated and it's just not a good thing when at the end of the day your periods are just your your periods are good like you want them to happen you want them to be regular and you don't want to stop them from happening. Back when my thyroid was high, a doctor tried to put me on some medical contraceptives to help manage my really bad periods and my just all the pain I was having with cramps and how irregular they were. And back then, I really didn't know much about it, but I'm so glad that I ended up not doing that because now that I know more about it, I don't know if I would have had as easy of a time, of a time getting pregnant or just all these things that I've been able to do since then. It's just very weird to me how negative our culture is about periods in general. Girls are kind of taught to dread their periods from a very young age and then that just really carries on into adulthood and then they pass it on to their daughters like unknowingly. It's just this whole negative view we have in our culture of menstruating even though it's such a natural thing that women do that, I mean, we, it happens to us every month. It seems like something we should try to view in a different light. It's just weird to me. I saw this thing the other day that talked about if you added up a woman's cycle, how much she was bleeding every month, and how many months she had her period for her whole life, 
Women bleed almost nine years out of their life. You're on your period for almost nine years. So that's nine years where you could either feel positive about what your body's doing and how amazing it is that it's working properly, or you could feel negative and wish it wasn't happening to you. I really want my daughter to look forward to getting her period and Oh, thank you. <laughs> she loves giving him kisses. I always want to talk to her about it in a positive light and when I get my period I want to be like, oh, I got my period today. It's not exciting. Like, instead of being like, oh, I got my period today. I can't believe that. I feel like something that will also help is just knowing what actually is going on in your body when you're having a period. So I feel like people should do more research on that for themselves and just know what's happening in their bodies. And once people understand more what's going on, maybe they will see that your period's not actually out to get you. It's actually working with you. Another thing I wanted to bring up is that it's important to slow down when you're on your period. Whenever I am menstruating, I'm a lot slower than usual. I just kind of move slower. I don't get as many things done. I'm not rushing to do things. My body just feels slow when I'm on my period and that's okay. I feel like it's important that we listen to our bodies and do what they're telling us to if we need to rest or take a nap or just sit with a nice cup of red raspberry leaf tea, then that's what we need to do. We are always on the go in general. We live in a very fast culture where we need everything right now. We need to go do all things right now and learning to slow down a little bit in a lot of areas in our life I think is going to be really healthy. Look, hi! <laughs> I feel like cramps are kind of your body's way of telling you to slow down. And y'all are gonna think I'm weird because I actually love cramps because they remind me of contractions. And I like being in labor, which is so weird and everyone thinks I'm crazy when I say that, but I like being in labor. And period cramps feel just like a tiny little fraction of what labor cramps feel like. So it just reminds me of what it's like to be in labor a little bit. <laughs> but I actually enjoy cramps. They kind of bring me back to feeling grounded and in my body and just present with the cycle my body's in at the present moment. But as you allow yourself to feel the cramps more instead of just blocking them with Advil or something, you'll notice that you get different kinds of cramps. There's different intensities and locations and you'll start to understand what they mean, what your body's trying to tell you. And also, Changing your mindset around how you feel about your period will change your body image as well. I used to have a really poor body image. I, as a teenager, struggled with anorexia, which I am a lot heavier now than I was then, but I feel really good about my body. I've grown two children and I feel positive about my body cycles. I'm just grateful for what my body can do and just having a positive mindset about all that has just really changed how I see my body. God created your bodies to work in this perfect cycle every month and it is so incredible to see once you take a moment to appreciate it. And then also the last point of something that's just really cool about your period is that it connects me to the possibility of having babies and conceiving, getting pregnant, and just the magic that is womanhood and fertility and menstruating. It's all connected and it's all beautiful. I think that's all I wanted to talk about today, but I just really hope this was encouraging. I just really hope that we can just change our mindset about periods and pregnancy and birth and all these things. I am obsessed with all of these things. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, thank you.